Gentlemen, welcome back to the mess of the desk. We will not be on the desk for very long. And the reason for that is this is a retest of Patrick E's base flight aeroplane. And what happy days happens if you actually read the manual and Patrick E, there, there's this very simple command which you can type in uh, plane space flying wing and it sets a rink up for you. Uh, with all the right rates for a flying wing. It worked absolutely brilliantly. So let's get across to the flight line. And this time, look um, look out for the no flutter in the elevons. It is pretty well dialed in. It was doing a figure of eight from memory, which there's another setting for. Uh, but what a fantastic experience. It should have been like this the first time around. Apologies, I didn't read the manual properly. Uh, but with that said, let's go and see how well Patrick E's base flight aeroplane actually does uh, when it's set up correctly. All right, gents. This is Patrick E's base flight flight test. This time I'm actually recording it, and I've been and changed the rates down massively. But for safety, you can see that I'm walking away from the normal flight line, and I'm going to come here into the the middle of the field and that's purely for safety we've got a main road behind us and we're not allowed to fly behind the flight line which let's be fair you wouldn't want to do with a road behind you so we've got a nice we've got a whole bit of crosswind the wind's coming from the right yeah so i think that's about far enough no tell you what let's go a little bit further right that line there is pretty good So, you know, there's no Velcro left in the bottom of this one. Brand new battery, he says. Alright, that's in there nicely. On, throttle down. We're in there, buzz is well out of the way. Leads are in, power leads are in, servos connected, that's in there well. There was a light on that one because it will chirp in a second. Down, right, there. Right, there. Up. Engine arm. Engine arm. So it will arm. waiting for her to uh normally she chirps once she's got the the connection i am being patient we did get a lock over there pretty much straight away so what i'm going to turn her off and back on again so we'll count to five and the just waiting for the capacitors to discharge. Brilliant. Now, oh, she must be getting her GPS lot really well. It is. Look at the day. It's perfect. Engines on. So. Rate mode active. So I'm in rate mode for launch. The wind is coming to in front of us. So let's go. Right, then you can see that all right. Give a little bit more throttle. Right. Return to launch. Too much throttle in the settings. She is coming back. Look at that. See, I know I'm not tweaking the settings or anything so she did come back she's maintainer, maintaining her height a much smaller circle than last time so I'm stood here and there she is come on 
girl. Do a left. That's it. Like I said, it is windy out there. We get her blown around a bit down here. So she is trying to come back. Maybe that throttle was just for the uh, too high for to get the altitude because she's toned right down now. She is figure of an eight, uh, doing a figure of an eight, which we know is one of the settings. It needs to get turned down a bit. And she's gone right in the bloody sun. I can't see her. Right. Rate mode active. Right, we're off. Horizon mode. Go into horizon mode. Hands are off at the moment. Very little throttle. Very little throttle. Very happy man. Patrick E. You're a genius fella. That's doing really well. Again, I don't have enough throttle on that at the moment. Let the flutter. Oh, a bit wobbly. Rate mode active. I turned it back into rate mode. She's ducking and diving. What did she do? So I'm in rate mode. Climbing a bit. I think I need a, like an anti-vibration mount for this one. Yeah, look. She... If I crashed that, that would have been my own fault. So I need to get back because these guys want to get flying. So land them. A little bit more frog. So this is my pants flying because, like I said, it is a bit choppy up here. So I'm going to bring her back somewhere where I. Right. That's not Patrick E's fault. That's my flying because I didn't want to bring her back too quickly. Make whatever you want of it. So. Engine off. Brilliant. So let's make her safe. Lost. Battery fell out, no big surprise there. So happy days. Patrick Key, I want you just to show you that one. I do need to find out why she's ducking and diving. I think it's probably just a bit of motor vibration because it is a straight through box. Anyway, from myself, Matt, see you soon. So welcome back to the desk and the piece which would have changed that experience is putting a motor mount like uh, I'll put, I'll put a screenshot up on your screen for you. Uh, they're super cheap and that would have got the vibration out of the NAS A32 board. Uh, and that's what you would do if you were using your set and do's in this setup properly in your model. Remember this is only a test setup, proof of concept. Does it work? Yes or no? And I'm now going to go on. I need to tweak a couple of settings. Uh, and I will be flying Patrick E's base flight in a couple of my models. Because I do have a few spare NAS A32 boards. As we've seen with the right settings, Matt. It works absolutely brilliantly. So with that said, I'm going to wrap up this episode right now. I will be showing you how to set up Patrick E's base flight aeroplane. Uh, for a flying wing in a later episode. It's dead simple to do. All you've got to do is just jam a couple of cables in the right places, uh, click a few buttons, and as I mentioned, if the, if you type in, uh, it's actually preset and then flying wing, then the vast majority of the settings which you would want in Patrick E Space Flight Airplane are set up for you. Patrick has made it so, so easy. So with that said, if you found this video helpful, Press the like button. Any comments or suggestions are very, very much welcomed. And you can let me know in the comments section underneath this video over here on YouTube. And with that said, from myself, Matt, cheerios.